Hello Mad Cappers. Today we're going to make a really fast and easy fabric accessory for your hair, a beautiful hair bow. And like this hat, the fabric choice I'm using today is inspired by a certain very popular Barbie movie that features lots of headwear. But we're going to make the hair bow and it's three pieces. There's the main center piece. We leave a little opening to turn it right side out. There's long tails and our bow center. We'll use either a comb, or you can use a beret, or you could use a bobby pin to fasten it in your hair. I'm gonna use this alligator clip that's a little bit longer. And I'll put all the measurements in the description below. If you had a little girl that you wanna make it for, you use a smaller alligator or duckbill clip. And you can see I like making little fabric uh, fascinators or hair accessories with clips from my scraps and if you want me to do a video about that in the future leave that comment below so I've sewn up my pieces I've left a little opening to turn them right side out and my opening is at the center of my cut edge I've cut my uh, bow main piece and my tail on a fold and I've sewn up the long edge of my bow center I'll just trim that extra fabric away and I'm going to turn these pieces right side out and I'll show you a really fast and easy way to gather the centers and to put them all together. All of the measurements and how to draft these pieces for our bow are at the very end of the video so stick with me, watch how to put it together and then I'll show you how to draft the pattern yourself. And I'm just clipping away the extra fabric from the raw edge where my seams have overlapped close to that overlapping point just so this piece will turn right side out nicely and I'll have a defined corner and I'll do the same for my main bow piece as well before I turn them both right side out and I'm using my knitting needle to help with that to push those corners out and if you're new to sewing, this is a great beginner project. You can even hand sew rather than machine sew. And there's our three pieces ready to assemble. So I'm just going to fold the two main pieces in half. And I'm just finger pressing to create a halfway point up from that opening to the folded edge on the other side. And I'll just use a pencil to lightly mark where that line is before I move over to the sewing machine. I'm doing the same with my tails now. And I just need a line that's easy enough for me to just make a slight little pencil line that I'll be able to see at the sewing machine. And I've sewn straight down from the folded edge down to where the opening is and left long tails of thread on either side. So at each end of that seam, there's a tail of thread from both the bobbin and the upper thread that's at least 10 inches or 25 centimeters long. I will gather or pleat the bow at the center with my fingers and I'll just take one set of thread and wrap in one direction and then I'll turn it, the bow around and use the other set of thread to wrap in the opposite direction and you can just adjust how much puffiness you want, how tight that center cinch is, and once you're happy with the result, just tie those two ends of thread together in a triple knot. And now we have one piece done, and now we'll do exactly the same thing with our tail piece. So we have long ends of thread, double thread, on each end of our seam. And all we did was we sewed right down the center of the piece along that pencil line. And we'll just wrap the two pairs of thread in opposite directions, creating a cinch in the middle, a gather in the middle, without using a separate needle and thread. Now, if you're hand sewing this, you could, you of course can use your needle and thread to gather the center of both of these pieces. And I'm just gonna tie off the ends now in another triple knot. And if my ends are long enough, I'll just use these ends to join the two main pieces together in the same way, just wrapping in opposite directions. If I needed to though, I could just grab another length of thread, double it up and use it, maybe even in a different color if you wanted 
to wrap in opposite directions to join these two pieces together. I do have a couple of videos already on my channel that show how I gather the center of a bow with the long ends of thread at the beginning and the end of my seam, so I will leave links below for those videos. And you can decide which part of this bow, which side of the bow is going to be the right side and which side is going to have the clip attached to it. Once you're happy with the wrapping, fluff up your bow, tie those ends off in a knot at the back, another triple knot should do. And this hair bow would look awesome in any seasonal fabric as well sparkly fabric, fabric for something that's befitting a wedding or a special occasion. It's a sewing business winner. It will be great for your craft show booth if you're somebody who makes a living doing artisan shows and festivals. Nice for your Etsy store. So I've always make my bow center piece a little bit longer than I need and that way I can adjust to the actual size. So I'm going to just uh, sew the right sides together of my bow center and you'll see I have quite a bit that I'm going to trim off on that right side edge, the two raw edges, and I'll go back and forth, back and forth a few times to make a nice solid seam there, trim the extra away, turn right side out, and then starting on one side of the bow, I'm going to slip it into the middle spot, covering up all of my wrapping there, all my pieces of thread that are wrapped together, and creating a beautiful polished finish for this lovely bow for your hair. Work those two main pieces of your bow into the bow center, one at a time, and then slowly pull into the position right in the center of the bow. If you're using an alligator clip, you could just tuck it in like that and you can just fasten it into your hair without fastening the alligator clip to the bow. But I'm going to use a small piece of craft felt to just put in a bit of hot glue to place it onto the back of my bow centerpiece, holding it in place so it won't slip off. giving it a good press so it sets. And now my hair bow is ready to wear. Okay, so let's talk about the pattern. So I've cut my main piece on a fold. If you were going to cut as one long piece, you're just gonna double the measurements that I'm going to give you right now and fold it in half when you're sewing. So when it's folded, it's six inches wide or 152 millimeters wide, and the depth is three and five eighths of an inch or 92 millimeters. For our center piece, we're going to do a two and an eighth inch wide by four inches deep or 54 millimeters wide by 102 millimeters deep. We're gonna trim that after we're finished to the length that we need. And now I'm gonna show you how to draft the distinctive tail. So we start with a rectangle. So draft a rectangle that's 11 inches wide or 28 centimeters wide by three and an eighth or 79 millimeters deep. Once you have that rectangle, measure the halfway point across the line along the top and the bottom and then join those two points with a line down the center. So from the bottom center now, we're going to go up that line by one and a quarter inch or 32 millimeters and make a mark on that line at that point. Use your ruler and draw a straight line from each bottom corner to that center mark. Now, at the top, we're going to make a mark on each side from the corner, about one and three eighths of an inch or 35 millimeters from each top corner along that top line of our rectangle. And 
And now we're going to use our ruler once again to go from the bottom corner up to those little marks we made on that top line. So that top line is going to be a fold line. You need to cut this piece on a fold and your piece should look like this. And on the bottom center point, we're just going to make a couple of little notches and mark those as leave those open. We're, when we are sewing at the beginning, the two sides and we have a spot where we can turn it right side out. I leave about an inch or two and a half centimeters open for doing that and we'll just make a note on our main bow piece as well just at the center on that bottom raw edge to leave it open. Questions or comments? Leave them below. I'll answer each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to our producers, our patrons, and our channel members. You can join us on Facebook and Instagram. We're Madcap Hats there as well. Super thanks are always appreciated and help fund the free patterns on this channel. Like and subscribe to the Madcap Hats channel on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tori Cape, Certified Milner, and I will see you again soon on the next video.